Well, hello everyone and happy weekend. Yes, it is about time that we get another one of these videos. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you guys are new here, welcome to the little, little leaf pile. I always love seeing some new faces in here. And today we're just going to jump right into it with making the primate pack. Now, I know this is a little bit of a point of contention a lot of a lot around like, you know, the whole Planet Zoo community. Would Planet Zoo and Frontier make a whole deal devoted to primates alone let's hope so because we have a lot of awesome stuff in here that i feel like could really benefit from being in its own pack so let's not monkey around here anymore we're just gonna jump right into the animal pack as always at first with the siamang yes so as i was saying before in the rainforest pack we're gonna see a couple of these make their way back in as well so as i was saying in the rainforest pack i do believe that sound is a crucial element when it comes to monkey vocalizations primate vocalizations and the like and the siamang is no stranger to all of that they have these big pouches on their cheeks not their cheeks but their uh, chin that they actually use to make these bellowing noises and i believe that you know it would be very wonderful to have these guys in the game because of that and not only because of that but also because of their brachiation now they do tend to brachiate much like orangutans and gibbons and i feel like having that in the game officially would be a wonderful feature to have and you know what number two on our list makes use of the same rig yes the white cheeked gibbon so these guys are a bit of a cousin to the siamang and they are quite beautiful nonetheless so instead of being all black like the siamang are they actually have sexual dimorphism where the females are black and yellow and the males are black and white so yes you guys can probably see the picture of them across the screen right now but they're such a beautiful little creatures i chose a white cheek specifically because of roger williams of course we gotta get some roger williams representation in here but these guys are really cool nonetheless and they do brachiate as well plus they actually walk around really funnily like if you guys actually see a given walking around uh run the other way because they run so creepily they hold their hands up high like they're puppeteers no like they're puppets or something i don't know but we're going to take a little trip over to Africa with number three. We are going to look at the Shafaka. Now the Shafaka, these guys are very unique. They don't move at all like lemurs, but they are still kind of like in that same low, like little lemur family-ish. Um, just having these guys is amazing. You guys may know Zabumafu. These are where these guys kind of found their way to popularity. And of course, they're just really beautiful creatures nonetheless that represent the island of Madagascar really well. And speaking of that very same island, I'm just going to come out and say it. Black and white rough lemur. I would be perfectly okay if a pack like this included the black and white rough lemur. Do I care what subspecies? No, it could be the southern, it could be the belted, it could be literally any of them. I do not care. I would very much appreciate a new lemur nonetheless. But we're not done with Africa just yet. I have one more friend from Africa that we can talk about. The Colobus Monkey. Yes, now these guys are extremely iconic. They have this beautiful drooping fur on them. And it's just so freaking spectacular when you see them up close because they're just so beautiful. And I feel like Frontier has had a wonderful track record as of late with their animals and the quality of their animals themselves. And seeing them be able to capture the beauty of the Colobus Monkey would be something that I would love to see them do. And speaking of beauty, our next animal does not represent that whatsoever, but they are pretty iconic nonetheless. The Bald Uakari. These guys are ugly, and I do apologize. They look like burn victims. I'm not even going to pussyfoot around it. They look like burn victims. But I still believe that they are very iconic primates nonetheless. They're from South America as well as our next one on the list. And I don't know. I just really do love the red on the orange. It has such this beautiful splash of color that I would love to see really carried out by Frontier. So, of course, with that being said, we have one more. He's a mainstay from last week. Everyone give it up for the Black Howler Monkey. Now, yes, of course, again, we have these at Roger Williams. I love them so much. But these guys are really cool nonetheless. Of course, the Howler Monkeys have their very own distinct call. They are black and yellow. Again, kind of like the white cheek gibbon. So I feel like we could see a little bit of comparison over there. I would love to see that come out. But, of course, these guys are really cool nonetheless. And getting these guys in the game would be a dream come true for me. And, of course, exhibits. I know Frontier has already said they're not going to put mammals in exhibits. But, really, 
what else could I do over here? I'm just gonna say Pygmy Marmoset. It's a throwaway animal. I do apologize. I don't really care too fondly about these guys. As an exhibit animal, would I like them as a habitat animal? Heck yeah, I would. But we're just gonna throw that away. Let's jump right into the scenery pack. So, of course, these are all going to be mainstays from what I just previously said. We're just gonna come right out and say it. Siamang, Colobus Monkey, Safaka, and Howler Monkey. I believe that these are the best representations of the previous countries mentioned. Africa, um, yeah, Africa, Asia, and South America, where you find most of the cool primates. Europe, listen, I'm sorry, Barbary Macaque, not really my kind of speed. Uh, they're just kind of boring, I do apologize. But of course, exhibit animal would be the Pygmy Marmoset. I don't really got anything else besides that, guys. But you know what, let's sneak into... <clears throat> Some honorable mentions, of course. Number one, Golden Snub Nose Monkey. I really love these guys. They're kind of funny looking. Um, just They're just fat, Chinese monkeys, and I love them so much. I would love to get these guys in the game. But unfortunately, they were outweighed by the other previous choices. Along with the Blue-Eyed Black Lemur, I feel like Frontier would do a wonderful job with these guys. But honestly, I would love for everyone just to get the Black and White Rough Lemur. I know there's a lot of people out there who don't really like mods. And while this is the perfect perfect modded species out there, the black and white rough lemur, I would love for more people to get that more than, you know, the blue-eyed black lemur. Uh, lion mane macaque, these guys are really cool, very iconic, they are from India, they're beautiful, beautiful little monkeys, and they are just such iconic with their beautiful lion mane, but not iconic enough to steal the list away from this Siamanger gibbon. But of course, we also have the vervet monkey, very iconic African species, very, very popular within like, you know, African sections and stuff like that. But you know what? It just wasn't meant to be. I do apologize, my good friend, the vervet monkey. Now, of course, we have a lot of enrichment to get into. These would be like the mainstays of the scenery pack itself. A lot more reused items or new enrichment items, repurposed, old toys. Think about like dog toys. Think about boxes. Think about just general trash in general. And seeing animals be able to interact with those. Even more puzzle feeders, even more kinds of feeders like that. I would love to see Frontier really hammer it down on enrichment for primates because they are easily some of the most personable animals in the game. And I would love to see a lot more enrichment really capture the jovialness and the kind of spunk that these animals really have. As well as new climbing frames. Heck, primates are known to climb. They are the most arboreal species out there. Probably not, but I don't really care. Um, I can be wrong sometimes, guys. I know. But I would love to see a lot more framework of metal, bamboo, wood, flexi color versions of the habitat climbing wood or climb uh, climbing frames that we already have i would love to see a lot more jerry rig stuff i would love to see a lot more wires that you could see like you know the animals climbing across inside of habitats i would love to see more rope even more in addition to the north african rope that we have in the game i would just love to see so many more expansions on climbing a much more greater focus on climbing for animals and stuff like that, of course. And last but not least, more signs, just a lot more education in terms of primates. Heck, Roger Williams used to have this beautiful little education board with like primate hands on it. Even handprints. I would love handprint decals. You know what? Screw it. Decals. Just everything decals. I would love to see a lot more decals that we could just throw on glass and plexiglass and stuff like that. Well, that's it. You know what? It was a little bit of a very niche pack, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Definitely do let me know your ideas down below. Always love seeing you guys talk about that stuff. But with that being said, Leaf is gonna take off with the wind. Have a wonderful day, guys. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a great day.